everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. This video is all about something that I'm really passionate about and that is exercise. Everybody knows it's a really important part of being healthy and living a healthy lifestyle. Um, I just think that a lot of people struggle to actually fit it in or to make themselves actually get up and go and not only that but um, actually be motivated to enjoy it. So. This video is about making exercise something that isn't a chore, but is something you can actually look forward to. And this video is also about how to motivate yourself to go and do it, and how to fit it into even the busiest of um, schedules. So I just wanted to start the video by saying some of the massive benefits that exercise has for me. So um, there's things that we all know about already, so obviously doing more exercise, particularly exercise that increases your heart rate, this is obviously going to make you fitter. Um, it's going to increase the size of your lungs and of your heart. Um, if you're doing things like yoga, it's going to increase your flexibility. Um, yoga can also have amazing benefits on sort of mental health and being a really like good way to give yourself some time out if you're really busy or feeling stressed or anxious. Exercise involving things like weightlifting, that's going to obviously make you stronger. So they're kind of like the obvious health benefits everyone already knows about. Um, but beyond that, for me, exercise makes me concentrate and focus better throughout the day so in doing that it makes me more productive due to the increased blood flow to the brain um, it makes me not only more productive but more willing to be productive if that makes sense so like, I actually have more of like a motivational drive to do productive things throughout the day and get work done for example um, as opposed to days when I don't do exercise. For me exercise also shapes my day so like I've sort of just said days I haven't done exercise I feel a bit sort of restless and a bit lost and like there's something missing and so for me like having exercise embedded into my daily routine just kind of gives me a sort of I don't know how to explain it like it just sort of makes me feel like complete in a way. And finally, exercise genuinely makes me happy. Now, I might not always say this before I'm about to go and do some, I might not say it while I'm actually doing the exercise. Sometimes I do, but like I don't always actually love every second of exercise. But it's when I come back, I just honestly feel so happy. This is due to like, the release of endorphins, but also my, fe my feeling inside that I've done something good and healthy for my body. Um, something that ultimately is going to benefit me later on in life. Um, like, I think there's such a massive importance of being healthy and getting fit now. Um, it can often be perceived like when you're young, it doesn't matter what you eat, it doesn't matter how much exercise you do, you're just be all right. Um, yes, we have a lower risk of getting things like cardiovascular diseases at this age, obviously, but I'm sort of implementing good habits and a good balance of everything in my life now that involves exercise so that later on in life I'm just kind of so used to it that I don't have to even think about it. Now I'm going to crack on and tell you some tips for motivating yourself to do exercise and for actually enjoying it. Tip number one is find something fun. Find something that you can actually get excited for to go and do. So for me, I run a lot, but I wouldn't say actually all my enjoyment of exercise comes from running. Um, sometimes it can be fun to go, like sometimes me and my friends will go and book a badminton court and go play badminton for an hour. And that for me is like a massive, if I'm not feeling motivated to go and like do a run on my own and actually push myself really hard, something like badminton could just be like a really nice alternative. Things like swimming, like I, I do enjoy swimming but I just don't often make the effort to go. So when I do go I actually really really love it because it's just so different. So there's always something you can do to increase your heart rate a bit or um, get some health benefits. So yeah, it really can be incorporated into every day. So tip number two, don't think of exercise as a very rigid and structured activity. Sometimes I'll, I'll be on a run and I'll just randomly think, oh, I'm not really enjoying this, I'll just pop to the gym and then I just go and do a 10 minute bike ride in the gym or something like that. It, it, you can literally, exercise doesn't have to be a set, structured thing. Something is always better than nothing. Even if one day you just really, really don't want to do anything, go for a 15 minute walk. Like, going on a walk 
is going to be better than just sitting in your bed for another 15 minutes. And if you start thinking about exercise in this way, it can make it so much easier to incorporate it into your everyday life. Walking somewhere instead of driving, that's getting you some health benefits and getting you some exercise into your routine. Taking the stairs instead of getting a lift, tiny things which actually add up and kind of make you feel like you've had a more active day. Third tip is think of your future self. Now I apply the same kind of rules I apply to studying and being productive in that sense to exercise. So sometimes I'm lying on my bed, I'm really tired and lethargic and all I want to do is just watch a film, do something relaxing and I haven't exercised and almost for me if I haven't exercised that's why I get lethargic and so in that moment I think I could either stay here, watch a film, lie here for another two hours or I could go literally for half an hour or 20 minutes I could go for a run and I know I will come back and I will feel refreshed and ready to do something productive and I'll feel so much happier for it and so even if I don't feel like going I just force myself to and then I'm always right I always come back and think I'm so glad I went um, and I feel so much happier for it so think of your future self think literally think about 20 minutes time are you going to feel better if you've done some exercise or are you going to feel better if you've just sat in the same spot for 20 minutes fourth tip whatever exercise you're doing prepare for it whether it be the night before or a few hours before prepare for it so that you cannot stop yourself from going you cannot talk yourself out of it so if i'm going on a run early in the morning the night before, I will get out all my running clothes and I'll fold them up neatly and put them on my chair, ready to get changed into the next day. Um, if you're doing some sort of sport that involves um, packing a bag, then pack your bag the, the night before or a few hours before. And just seeing your stuff already in front of you makes it easier to just go out and do it. If your clothes are there, you don't have the battle of finding your running leggings or filling up your water bottle, if it's all just ready, you can literally just just put your clothes on and go and it, I like to do it, especially in the morning, I like to do it without even thinking about it. I know I'm all for mindfulness but this is one time where I don't actually think mindfulness would be useful. <laughs> so I almost get changed and get myself ready without even thinking and then I'm changed, I'm out the door and I've, before I know it I've done the exercise and come back and I feel great for it. So don't sort of dwell too much on it, that's kind of, I guess, the message I'm trying to say. Tip number five is allocate time for exercise. So whether this be at the beginning of the week or just the beginning of the day, set yourself days and time blocks where you're going to be doing your exercise. And this is another way to stop yourself talking yourself out of it, because if you've structured your day around something like going to the gym, um, then if you don't go, it will almost mess up the structure of your day so if you've got it there in the diary and you know you're going there sort of can be no excuses because you've known that you're going for the whole week and you don't need to worry about oh at some point i've got to go to the gym because it's there you know that's when you're going that's when you're going to think about the gym other than that you're not going to think about it for the rest of the week or the rest of the day or whenever it is that you've decided to exercise and so then when it gets to that time in your diary you know that's what you're doing that's where you need to be and so you just go and do it no no compromise, no negotiation, you go. Um, and then it's just something you can tick off your diary as well that you've got done. And for me, I would suggest if you're struggling to fit it into your timetable or um, you're struggling to kind of pick a time that suits you, for me, the morning is always my sort of prime time for exercise because I feel like after sort of lunchtime, I start to get a bit sort of Start to, start to feel a bit lazy, start to not really want to go out and get changed again. Um, in the evening, I sort of want to be winding down for sleep. So for me, morning is the best time. Also for me, because it means I don't have to have another shower later on in the day, because I shower in the morning so I can get straight from my pajamas into my sports clothes, go do my exercise, come back, have my shower and begin my day. And then it's like, it's just out of the way, it's done. Um, I talk more about that in my um, video about why I run in the mornings um, so I won't dwell on that but that can be really useful but yeah the most important thing is that you find a time that works for you. Tip number six don't always do the same thing um, maybe you love running and that's the only kind of exercise you're interested in 
but that doesn't mean you can't completely mix it up. You can do different routes, different distance runs, different types of runs. You might do an interval run one day, tempo run the next day, then just like a long jog for another day. Definitely for me, if I ran the same running route, uh, multiple times a week I would just get so bored and I'd lose motivation to do it because it would be so autopilot and it would be so familiar to me so kind of every I'd say like three or four weeks I try and come up with a new route I've never done before and then I actually feel excited to go again because I'm interested in where the route's going to take me and what I'm going to see um, I actually did that this morning I went on a four mile run I think it was and I just didn't fancy any of the routes that I've already sort of found around my house so I just found a completely new one and I kind of like improvised a bit I just sort of went where it looked nice obviously staying within the boundaries of where I knew um, yeah and it ended up being really enjoyable actually it might be a bit slower because I'm a bit more cautious of where I'm going but it didn't matter because for me it was just important that I got out and did something. And yeah, that's not just something that you can apply to running, I'm sure that can be applied to any sort of sport or training. Um, doing different things at the gym every time you go, for example. Um, yeah, it just kind of helps to mix it up and um, keep you kind of motivated to do it. Another thing I just wanted to say is don't let things like revision for exams, for example, get in the way of exercise because I honestly think doing an hour of exercise is going to be more productive than that extra hour you're going to sit at your desk. I really believe that. Um, going away and coming back with a refreshed mind is so important during exam period for me. Um, and having that time out, it's not a waste of time to go and do exercise. It's, in my view, for me, more beneficial. I will try and fit some form of exercise in almost every day. Days I don't, um, I'll at least try and make sure I get some fresh air. Exercise is so important. Um, and I think it really adds to a happy, healthy, balanced lifestyle and I honestly don't know what I would do without it. So don't think of it as a chore. Um, I know it kind of can be a bit like that and you might not enjoy it every single time you go out and do exercise but try and find ways to enjoy it. Think of how lucky you are that you can exercise. And yeah, it honestly gives me such a feeling of completeness in my life every day. Um, and yeah. I'll probably make lots more videos about exercise. Have a very productive and healthy, balanced day. Um, I'll see you for my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment below if you enjoyed it. Um, see you very soon. Bye.